Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week two on Superbird Speedway. This week we have so many more exciting cars. We have a battle between Rapid Nismo and myself, Superbird Diecast, as our main event. We also switched tracks, and now we have our big six lane track instead of our typical four lane track. How is that going to affect our times? We're going to use a different formula and scale it up. Just in case if you're new to our channel or just don't remember the rules, the rules are up on screen right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to race. Hot Wheels Racers, hit your lane! gentlemen we're back for week two and this time our track is updated to the full six lane and digital we have the copo camaro in lane one and the prelude in lane six who's gonna win it's best two out of three let's find out the camaro takes race one and we are about to start our second race. And since the track is bigger, we're going to adjust the times to a rough estimate on when the other cars would have finished this track. So you'll see that too. And three, two, one. We are tied at one race apiece. Winner takes it all here. Three, two, one. After going to three races between these two cars, the lane one was the winner in all three races. So that means the 2018 Copo Camaro wins. What a great race between the Camaro and the Prelude. The Copo Camaro wins this series by a score of 2-1. to one. However, it was a great race on both sides, and we hope to see more close races in the future. Our winners are going to go in behind the big screen, and our losers go in the cage of doom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our second race of the night. We have the 32 Ford in lane one and the 41 Willys in lane six. Three, two, one. And the 32 Ford snags race one. What will happen in race two? Let's find out now. After a 2-0 sweep, the 32 Ford wins race 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we had to take a close look there. However, the 32 Ford snags this series in a sweep, and it's 2-0. And now the 32 Ford is going to be in our top 12 as of now. Now what's going to happen? It's just about time for our third race to begin between the Subaru Impreza and the Integra.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's our third race of the night, and it's one of two of our battles of JDM. We have the Acura Integra in lane one, and the Subaru WRX STI. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Integra gets the early lead. Will it last? Or will we need a third race? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second sweep of the night, the Acura Integro wins race three of the night. What a surprise for us all here. We thought that the Acura Integra was not going to do as well as it did, and we thought that the Subaru might have actually have won this. But that's the thing. We make sure our matchups are as close as possible and are in the same category. But now it's officially time for our halftime show. We will see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially time for the Superbird Speedway halftime break. Our halftime break is sponsored by Serendi Pity on a Live Movie Maker. If you really enjoy impressive art, please go check out Serendi Pity on a Live Movie Maker. You can download a Live Movie Maker on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Now it's time to take a look at some of our winning cars during this halftime break. Our most surprising one so far, I believe, has got to be the Acura Integra. The Subaru looked like it was going to be really fast down our track. However, the Integra looked like it upset the Subaru. And that has been our most disappointing loser so far. And now it's time to take a look at our losers, which are the 41 Willys, the Honda Prelude, and the disappointing Subaru. After this, we have a battle of Italy between the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta and the Lamborghini Oricon. Now let's get to that race right about now. Ladies and gentlemen, we had the Battle of Italy, the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta in lane one, and the Lamborghini Oricon in lane six. Three, two, one. The F12 Berlinetta blew past the Huracan in race one. And now it's time to switch lanes. Will we see a third race or will the Berlinetta sweep and make it our third sweep of the night? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, in a two to zero victory, the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta wins. This was quite a surprising win for the Ferrari. We thought that the Lamborghini was going to win. And it turns out our predictions are not that great. But, hey, it's all fun and games. And we hope you guys are enjoying our races so far. If you're not enjoying our races so far, you're going to love our next race between the Battle of the 510s. Which is sponsored by the Dumb Kid on the Internet. If you are looking for action-packed skits, vlogs, and DIY videos, check out the dumb kid on the internet. His channel link will be in the description below. As we finish up taking a look at our previous winners and losers, it's time for the 510 to roll in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a battle of 510s. We have the 510 wagon 
and the regular 510 coupe. Now, what's gonna happen? We're gonna see which 510 is the fastest. Three, two, one. The regular 510 took that one and snagged it by over a car length. Will the 510 wagon redeem itself? Or will the regular 510 win it all? Out of the 510s at least. But anyways, let's go. That was a really close race. However, we had to take a look and just make sure that the call was right because our finish line has had a reputation of making the wrong call on occasion. Now it's time for a third race. Who's going to win? Let's find out now. It is sure some nice to see that the 510s are competitive with one another. However, there can only be one winner. And by... A score of 2-1, to one. the 71 Datsun 510 wins! What an exciting battle between the 510s. However, the normal 510 takes the series in a 2-1 to one victory. We had ourselves a wonderful race between the 510s. We hope that our main event is just as close as this one was. And before we go to our main event... We are going to take one last look at our winners and our losers so far tonight. We started out the night with the Copo Camaro winning in a 2-1 to fashion, followed by the 32 Ford and Integra sweeping, as well as the Ferrari sweeping the Lamborghini, and the 510 winning in a 2-1 to series against its wagon brother. And now, it's time to take a look at our Cage of Doom. We, our Cage of Doom consists of the 98 Honda Prelude, the 41 Willys, the Lamborghini Huracan, the Subaru Impreza, and the Datsun 510 Wagon. Before our cars in the main event roll, our main event is sponsored by Taser Plays. If you really enjoy gaming videos and vlogs, please go check out Taser Plays, who is our sponsor for our main event. The channel link will be in the description below. And now it's time to get back to the track. We have our light on down by the track now as we are getting prepared for our main event. gentlemen it's time for our main event it's a battle of super bird die cast in the corvette grand sport roadster with the formula solar wheels it's our first custom ever to go down the track versus rapid nismo's swedish brick aka the volvo 850 estate best three out of five let's see what happens three two one Super Bird Diecast in the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster takes race one. Can the Volvo tie it up as it's now in lane one? Three, two, one. From the angle we were looking at, we just had to be sure. But the Volvo has tied things up as we head into a race three. What will happen? Super Bird Diecast is back in lane one. Rapid Nismo in lane six. Three, two, one. We just reviewed that race as well. And the Corvette Grand Sport won. 
we just had to review it to be safe. But now it's time for race four. It's do or die for the Volvo. Rapid Nismo is in lane one. Super Bird Diecast is in lane six. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we need a fifth race. And the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster, driven by Super Bird Diecast, is back in lane one. And Rapid Nismo and the Volvo are in lane six. Who's going to win? It's do or die. Winner of this race wins the main event. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, by a final score of three to two in the main event, Super Bird Diecast and the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. And it looks like Super Bird Diecast is going to take the W here tonight against Rapid Nismo. What a great race, and I want to congratulate him for taking it to five races. What a great race, and we are looking forward to next week, as this is our final race of the night. And now it's time to take a look at our winners. We start out with the Copo Camaro, and work our way all the way up to the Grand Sport Roadster who won our main event. And now it's time to take a look at our Cage of Doom, where we started from the Prelude and end with Rapid Nismo Swedish Brick, aka the Volvo. We sure hope you guys enjoyed tonight's races. We sure hope that it was a bit more of an improvement from last week. Every week we are going to improve a little bit. And also, one more announcement before we sign off. If you have any custom cars you want to send in, or any cars you want to see go down our track, we will be allowing submissions if you want to send them in. You don't have to, but the offer is open. And we sure hope you guys enjoyed tonight's races again. And now it's about time to see our track leaderboards. Remember, our top 12 winners will advance to a playoff for the King of the Hill spot. Good night, everyone, and we hope to see you for week three, which will be August 13th. Happy hunting and stay safe.